So this is my garden table, as you can see she's looking a little bit rough, she needs a little bit of TLC, she's got a, a broken leg there, so we're going to take it off to the garage and we're going to give it some bit of TLC today. So we start off by dropping the hinges off the drop leg sides. Moving on to removing the legs. Well, I'll just show to separate out the frame now. I want as much of this part as um, this table as a part as possible. That's going to make the renovation a little bit easier. So here I'm drilling out the old holes where the hinges used to be because the wood was split. I'm going to fill those with dowels. And once they're all nice and dry, we're going to cut that down with the flush trim bit so. I'm going to give it a light sand then. So that leg that you saw at the beginning was too far gone to repair so what I've done is I've, uh, I've got some scrap pine and I'm just ripping these down to the right width and off camera I'm going to use the old parts of the leg to make stencils and I'm going to cut those out on the bandsaw. And I know it's the wrong blade but I couldn't be bothered changing just for that one cut. Time was of the essence on this project, so instead of trying to do mortise and tenon journey, I went straight for pocket holes. It's going to be much simpler. And I'm only putting one hole on one side and then putting it on the opposite side. Um, and that'll stop the twist. So as you can see there, there's only one screw hole. And I'll flip that over. And there's one on the other side now, so they're opposites. So that'll stop the wood from twisting. And now I'm filling those holes now with some dowel. So I've just added some wood glue. I'm just going to shove in some dowel. And you can also use these pre made ones like this. Or you can just use a wooden dowel like the one on the right. Both do the same job. I can just trim it down with the flush, with the flush trim saw. And then sand it flush. That blocks those holes off and that'll stop any rock getting in. So on the leg that we've just made, I stained it with, uh, I think it was um, medium oak or something first, but it didn't turn out to be the right colour, so I'm just hitting it again now with some walnut stain. That's going to bring it in closer to what I think the rest of the, rest of the table is going to look like. So I'm just going to apply that on with a brush, and then off camera I, I rub off the excess with a, with, a, a, with a cloth, and I do that twice. So moving on to the tabletops now, I'm just going to start off with the card scraper, that'll get rid of all the loose varnish that's still on the top. And now 80 grit sandpaper, go at it really aggressive, and that's going to make short work of that tabletop, and that's going to bring everything down nice and flush, get all rid of that, all that nasty old um, varnish, I think it was shellac actually. So 
once it once it's all sanded down I've given that a dusting off and I'm now starting to apply yacht varnish and you can see those colors really starting to pop through it's really starting to take shape now it's really starting to look beautiful left that to dry overnight and now I'm hitting it now with 240 grit sandpaper with the mouse that's just a less aggressive of the two sanders I've got and that's just denibbing the uh, the varnish once that's done it's only a really light coating give that a dusting off and I'll wipe that down with mineral spirits afterwards with a towel quick dusting and onto the second coat. Now I do this process twice, so once this coat dried I did it again, sanded it, dusted and then applied a third coat. I'm moving back onto the reassembly, so we're going to use brand new screws for everything, all the other ones were rusted. Those two parts were glued together as well in the first video but I didn't bother with the second. Now I'm just putting the legs back in place. much easier to put the screws back in with a ratchet and a, and a, a number two Phillips head screwdriver and now I'm applying I've fitted in um, eight new hinges I'm using stainless steel that way they won't rust drill new pilot holes with the cell sensor and drill bit stainless steel screws as well And that's it, she's all done, she's starting to look really nice. Really pleased how that turned out. Look at those colours. Looks amazing. Just a recap of what it looked like beforehand. So yeah, really pleased with that one. Happy how it turned out. Time to set off with a nice beer once the project's done. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.